prosecutors say the 21-year-old Air National Guardsman accused of leaking highly sensitive military documents on social media was actually warned repeatedly not to do that, warned that he was mishandling classified intelligence. Air Force me a memoranda detail three separate instances since September of Jack Teixeira's alleged misconduct. These new revelations come days before a judge will determine whether he stays behind bars ahead of his trial. Our Natasha Bertrand is following all of this from the Pentagon. I could not believe, I couldn't believe this headline when I read it, that there were multiple warnings and still he had access to all of this. That's right, Poppy. So the first warning apparently came in September of 2022 when his superiors actually saw him taking notes on classified intelligence and told him to stop. Now, the next warning came in October uh, of 2022 where he was uh, in a briefing, essentially, and he was asking very... Uh, deep questions, deep dive questions into intelligence, really that had nothing to do with his job. And the uh, superiors there told him that he needs to really focus on his actual duties, which of course were uh, related to IT. He was essentially an IT person for the Air National Guard there in Massachusetts. And so there was essentially a cease and desist order for him to stop doing these deep dives into uh, this kind of intelligence. Then in January of 2023 of this year, he was again observed uh, doing these kind of deep dives into intelligence and he was warned again by his superiors not to do it. It does not seem like he was actually reprimanded at that point by his commanders, but it was uh, noted in these Air National Guard memos that he was looking at things and looking at intelligence that he was not supposed to be doing. And we should note that the uh, commanders there actually offered him a new position if he wanted to uh, look into this intelligence more, if he wanted more uh, kind of exposure to it in a way that actually comported with his duties, they offered to move him into a new job that would allow him to do it. So instead of really taking away his access to this classified information after three strikes against him, essentially, uh, they offered to simply move him into a new job. Now, we did reach out to the Air National Guard uh, for comment. They said they cannot comment right now because it is an ongoing investigation, but they did suspend two commanders in his unit pending ending the outcome of this investigation. And the entire intelligence mission was actually taken away uh, from this unit pending uh, the completion of the investigation. So we'll see how this shakes out on Friday when he has his hearing uh, where a judge is going to determine whether or not he's going to stay behind bars. But prosecutors arguing, look, he needs to stay there because clearly he has a disregard here uh, mm -hmm. for this kind of classified and national security information poppy. Yeah, that's interesting how that would play into the judge's decision. Clearly, Natasha, thanks for the reporting. Here with more is CNN's chief law enforcement and intelligence analyst, John Miller. John, you know, learning this from federal prosecutors, as they're saying, there are these three incidences where incidents where he was writing notes on classified intelligence, which is, you know, you're not supposed to do, putting in his pocket. Then he was looking at a trove of information, deep diving, they said. Um, and then he was looking at intelligence that was not related to his primary duty. Why were those incidents not enough to remove him from his role? They were enough what didn't happen. So what we're seeing now is that base, this is extraordinarily unusual, that base has been suspended from its intelligence mission totally. The commanding officer has been um, suspended from command of it as well as the executive officer. So in the Pentagon's review, clearly they have recognized problems there and, and basically shut that operation down um, in terms of the classified intelligence side. but. The question is, he's making notes of classified documents. We know from earlier court filings that um, he, he was nervous about this because he'd been caught. So he just started taking the documents wholesale. The real answer is, had these three things been treated seriously at the time, this would have been a referral to the base's security officer who's supposed to ensure the security of those documents. And then logically, it should have gone to an organization like OSI, the Office of Special Investigations, which is the Air, Air Force's criminal um, investigation bureau to see, you know, one thing is one thing, two things, three things. He went to a classified briefing and sat in the audience and asked extraordinarily detailed questions about things that nothing had to, that had to do with his realm. And remember what his realm was. He was the IT guy. Mm -hmm. His job was to make sure the systems were working. He wasn't an analyst. He wasn't a targeter. He wasn't a drone pilot. So all of this should have been setting off alarm bells sooner. But should it also change, uh, writ large, how how you know the Pentagon allows people in what positions to to have access to classified documents? So that's something the Pentagon is looking at now, which is um, the person in that job who's basically the IT person that makes the systems run. 
actually needs to have that, needs to have that clearance because you the can't access you can't access the mechanics of the system where all that information is contained and not have been through that background investigation. That also doesn't mean, as you point out, that you need to be looking at it and reading it because it has nothing to do with your job to make sure the system functions. So this is a holistic review about where do you put up these fences. But to, to get back to Caitlin's question, the real, the real thing is we don't need to change all the rules. We, na we need to go by the rules that were already in place. When alarm bells go off, that has to go up the chain further. And it did, and yet he stayed in his job. Uh, John Miller, as you learn more, keep us updated. Just remarkable developments, though.